Assault, Asaruto Asaruto is a multi-directional shooter arcade game released by Namco in 1988 and licensed to Atari Games for U.S. manufacture and distribution. It is the last Namco game that was licensed to Atari, even though their logo still appears on the Maya Stadium scoreboard in World Stadium 89 Kaimakuban and 90. The player's tank always points toward the top of the screen, and when the tank turns the entire playfield rotates around the tank. Assault made early use of hardware sprite scaling, preceded by at least Sega's Space Harrier in 1985. Topic. Gameplay. The player controls a futuristic tank, attacking the surface forces of an alien environment. The tank is controlled by two four-way joysticks. The standard movements, such as forward and turn left, are executed in the same manner as those of other tank driving games, like Battlezone. That is, the player pushes both joysticks away for forward, pulls the left joystick towards and pushes the right one away for turn left, and opposite for turn right. But since the joysticks are four-way, two other moves are available. Pushing the joysticks away from one another causes the tank to rear up on its back end for a moment. When in this position, the player can fire a nuclear blast, instead of the standard shots, fired in the normal position. Afterwards, the tank returns to its regular mode. If both joysticks are pushed right or left, the tank will roll, or, strafe, in the chosen direction. There are special, power. Platforms encountered throughout the game. When the tank is driven onto the platform, it is catapulted into the air and the battlefield is seen from a higher vantage point, and therefore more of the map is also shown. This allows the player to target and shoot at enemy forces from the air, including some that could not be seen in the regular and smaller frame. The tank is airdropped from above onto the battlefield. When a stage is cleared, the tank raises above the surface and then drops through a hatch in the ground. The player battles 11 waves of enemy forces if its select setting is set to on. The player can begin on stage 6. After the final stage, the player is rewarded with a list of schematics of the tank much like the ending for Namco's own blazer, and a final screen saying, Thanks for your play. Topic. Assault Plus Assault was followed by Assault Plus, an upgraded version with redesigned visuals and color palettes, and additional higher-ranked enemies in earlier stages. Instead of a linear run through all 11 stages as in original Assault, the game is presented in episodic format, with episodes titled, Rehearsal for the Core, and Battle for the Core. Rehearsal takes place in stages 1, 3, 4, 5, and the first area of stage 1, and Battle contains all the stages except for Stage 1. Assault Plus was not given a release outside Japan, however, it is included as a bonus game in Namco Museum Vol. 4 through a cheat code. Reception Reviewing Namco Museum Vol. 4 for GameSpot, Jeff Gerstmann called Assault the gem of the package. Dan Shu and Crispin Boyer of Electronic Gaming Monthly said it was one of the two best games in the collection, though they warned readers that the game requires the PlayStation analog joystick or dual analog controller to get the faithful arcade experience. Boyer professed it to be one of my favorite arcade games. 